Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a calming, relaxing, reset with me vlog. So it's Sunday and I just wanted to hang out with you guys, get my life together a little bit. Hope you'll enjoy this kind of different-ish style of vlog. So I'm fluffing up the pillows on the couch and wiping down our coffee table in the living room. Just kind of needed to be done. I'm opening up the curtains and today I am gonna wash my sheets. It's always a good Sunday thing to do, I think. So I'm stripping the bed. I actually did wash the duvet this past week. So we're just gonna wash the sheets today. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those sheets in the wash and just continue with my morning routine. I had a video that was ready to go. I just had to finish uploading it to my Patreon. So that's what I was doing here. And then I'm throwing in some potato pancakes in the air fryer. Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today is gonna be a day in my life, like a reset with me vlog. It's Sunday, so it's kind of one of those Sunday reset vlogs. I did one of these a few months ago and I really liked doing it. Do let me know if you guys like these because I like watching these and filming them. So today I've already done a few things. I woke up and got up, well it's uploading right now, a video for my Patreon. It's a secret vlog that I filmed the past three days, I did some errands. I went to Home Goods and Target. And then I did like a newly haul. I showed some cooking with Jared. I did some stuff around the house. So if anyone wants to see that, I'll put the thumbnail in right here and I'll have my Patreon linked down below as always. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have been doing like specifically every Sunday, I've been doing my grocery shopping, but I haven't been doing like a huge shop, which I feel like is kind of problematic because now I've been going every week and I used to kind of go like around every 10 days to two weeks, I feel like I would do a bigger shop. And now I've been going every week and getting like what I need because we're not out of some things, but I feel like I don't like going every single week. So I need to get on some sort of a like a track with that. But there is about like 10 to 15 things on my grocery list. So I am gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm washing my sheets today. I actually am caught up on the laundry, which is shocking. I might do like some cleaning and stuff around the house. Kind of do wanna do a home workout because I won't lie, I was supposed to go to Orange Theory at 10 45 this morning i was awake and i just was not feeling it like i just couldn't motivate myself to get up and go so i late canceled which is bad but i do usually late cancel something like once a month but i just wasn't feeling it today so i might do like a little home workout later this afternoon to make up for that i just haven't been feeling that motivated it's like winter and it's just hard to motivate myself to like get out the door and go other than that at two o'clock squirtles um doing like a little i guess it's like a meet and greet with a dog sitter from rover he's gonna meet her and her dog we usually have two people in rotation that watch squirtle when we go out of town they're both gonna be unavailable for this like two days that we're gonna be gone in a couple weeks so i went on rover and um i contacted a dog sitter on there since she has her own dog she does a meet and greet before she like accepts a, a new dog so i'm really hoping that squirtle will be good her dog is small and he's older he's like 12 and i feel like squirtle likes smaller and male dogs he's a boy too so i feel like it should be totally fine but i'm i'm just a little worried because squirtle is like really good with people but he's a little particular about what kind of dogs he likes so i'll let you guys know how that goes hopefully everything goes good with that so enough of the long intro let's head to trader joe's i'm going to see how fast i can get this done because i want to be back here at like ideally 1 30 and it's 12 46. i feel like i could do trader joe's like once i'm inside i feel like i could get everything i need in 15 minutes this 
that was a record, a Trader Joe's record. I seriously think I was in and out in like less than 15 minutes. It was incredible. Um, I found like pretty much almost everything on my list. A few things on my list, like two things I don't even sell at Trader Joe's, so those are not urgent. This is just like a mini grocery haul. There's like two small bags. Um, but I am glad that I went. I actually met a subscriber named Samantha. I'm almost positive that's her name. She was really nice, so she said she was like a new viewer, so I don't know if she watches YouTube, but hi Samantha if you are watching this. Okay, so for the produce, I got a red pepper, two things of garlic, and lemons. They have these new noodles. I think it's kind of, like you make it kind of like ramen. They're the, let's see. Squiggly noodles with soy and sesame sauce. I heard they're really good. I saw them on like the Trader Joe's list Instagram. I seriously think I follow like two Trader Joe's accounts. These I got because I couldn't find. I was looking for, they have like Valentine's Day macaroons. And I wanted to get those, but I don't know if I was just looking in the wrong place. I definitely could have been, but I didn't see them. So I just got these instead. The chocolate hazelnut cookies. I've never tried these, but... They sound pretty good. I'm just craving something sweet. This is a repurchase. I discovered this a few months ago. I think it's really good. It's the Trader Joe's organic Italian with Romano cheese dressing. I pretty much put this on like every salad that we make. And then I was out <laughs> completely. Just ran out of the everyday seasoning. This is one of my absolute like top three things from trader joe's so we go through it really fast i create this on literally everything this is one of the spices that i will not be uh decanting into my beautiful cohesive collection because it needs the grinder thingy because it comes like like that got some romaine hearts i have been preferring butter lettuce but they only sell it already like um in a salad mix at Trader Joe's and it just doesn't stay fresh as long and it's not good for like sandwiches and stuff. So I just decided to use romaine. I got some everything bagels. I'm excited about this. This is the cinnamon roll drizzled granola. It sounds really good. And I wanna have this, if I have time, I might have time for like a 10 minute snack right before I leave with Squirtle. I wanna have this with some berries that I got and some um, Greek yogurt, so I'm gonna set that aside. I ate those potato pancakes, and I'm still pretty hungry. I was super hungry this morning before I ate those, so I wanna have a little something with some protein and stuff. Some oven roasted chicken breast for sandwiches, as well as sliced pepper jack. Mm, I love pepper jack. And lastly, I just got a thing of chicken because we were actually out. Usually I would get a couple of these, but like to stock up and keep in the freezer, but the chicken didn't really look that good today. So I usually get it at Winco. So I guess we'll have to go grocery shopping again next weekend. Um, and that's everything, you guys. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna have a little snack and then Squirtle and I are gonna head out on his meet and greet. So hoping for the best. Look who just finished their meet and greet and was such a good boy. Should we go get a puppuccino for you because you were so good? Okay, because mommy wants Starbucks. So it went pretty well. I, of course, was a little nervous. She had two dogs there, one that she was watching and her dog. And her dog is kind of like how Squirtle is about other dogs. Rarely he will like fully play with another dog and just be like so obsessed with them. But for the most part, he'll kind of like meet a dog, meet them, sniff them, and then he'll be like, I don't care about you like I love my space and they kind of just like peacefully ignore each other let me know if you guys his dogs are like that that's how he usually is and that's how her dog kind of um is that's what she said she's like he just kind of like will sniff and then ignore and I'm like that's kind of how he is so I think it should be fine she only takes in small dogs sorry I don't know why I'm out of breath right now um I think I need to have some water but she has a whole fenced in backyard for the dogs, a doggy door. He's not really used to using, but maybe he'll see the other dogs doing it and he'll use it. But he's been good in like settings where he's gone to someone's house that's been watching like a few dogs at a time. It's good socialization for him because he doesn't really get that that much. 
fire trucks coming. I'm gonna go ahead and book with her and I think he'll have a great time and I think he will do pretty well. She said she really liked him and thought he would fit in really well around the, the house with the other dogs. So, success, which I am happy about. <laughs> I can't. All right, we're back home and now I'm gonna put the sheets back on the bed, starting with my mattress protector. Also, the light started off so nice in this clip and then it kind of just got bad. Also, I don't know what this stain is that it came out of the wash. I didn't even notice that the whole time I was doing this, so I just noticed it while I was editing. I don't really know what it could be because I threw these in the washer and threw these in the dryer, but I don't know, there's something on the bottom of there. But I'm just replacing some of my sheets and then putting back on duvet and making my bed. The sheets have been replaced and the bed is all made and pretty. I'll have a link to my little checkered throw blanket in the description box. It is incredible. And I was just listening to Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain while I was doing all my little tasks. So now I'm going to water this gigantic plant in the corner of my room. Here's a little bit of a better shot. I actually put a towel under it because it's so large and I let the towel soak up the excess water. And now I'm headed into the guest bathroom, which I always do my hair in here. So I kind of let my tools get a little out of hand as the week goes on. So I'm cleaning that up. And I'm also gonna go ahead and clean off these countertops, wipe them down, wipe the mirror and the sink, because honestly, you can't really tell on camera, but it was pretty bad, you guys. Like, it needed to be done. Now that I've placed everything back in its spot, this is what the sink top, the countertop <laughs> looks like. And now I'm gonna continue watering some plants. I'm bringing in my big mamas, some of my larger plants that I do actually water in the shower. This one I actually give five things of water, pitchers. I don't know, is that a pitcher? What is it called? A watering can, I'm sorry guys. I don't know why that tripped me up. I give this one five watering cans of water. I only water it every like two and a half weeks though, so it needs it. This one I give like two. And lastly, I'm bringing in this plant, which takes about one to two watering cans. And those are just gonna drain out in the shower. Lastly, I'm gonna water this tiny plant in the sink. Okay guys, it is 5.30 now. Um, as you can tell, I've been doing some random cleaning, watering plants. Today was a day I really needed to catch up on some plant watering. So yeah, that's how I water my big plants. That can't really fit in the sink. Most of my plants I just put in the kitchen sink or sometimes the bathroom sink and I just let them drain. But my bigger plants I put in the shower. I cleaned the guest bathroom, which was definitely overdone. I let that bathroom kind of get away from me because it's not our main bathroom. I get ready in there um, and I water the plants in the shower, which is convenient. Just some things that kind of I've been like putting off that I have time to do today. I'm kind of losing steam a little bit, but I did want to just do some easy stuff and wipe down the microwave and the fridge and probably the front of the oven. So the stainless steel appliances. So I'm going to do that. I'm listening to just some podcasts 
and it's about to be dinner time. I really have no ideas for dinner. I can't decide if I do feel like cooking or if maybe we'll just do something super easy tonight. And that's been my afternoon. I'm feeling pretty good and productive with how the day's been going, but I'm also kind of ready to like settle into the night and relax. But let me know if you guys like this style of vlog. It's like a little bit different than my normal vlogs because I think I'm gonna try to do like a voiceover as I'm, you know, making my bed and cleaning and stuff and like tell you guys step by step what I'm doing. Like I guess more homemaking type of content and videos. I never even knew what that word was, but I actually really enjoy watching like homemaking type of videos on YouTube. It's kind of like cleaning and prepping food and recipes. Anyway, let me know if you guys do like this stuff and I can do more of these types of videos because I really like watching them and they kind of like calm me and motivate me. So definitely let me know in the comments down below or let me know if you're not into it and you kind of just like my normal vlog style because I can definitely uh, do that too. I haven't worked out. I don't really know if I'm going to. I pulled up this like dance video on YouTube that I was like, this will motivate me. I don't know. I'm not feeling it today. I think maybe I just need to start fresh tomorrow. It's really not the end of the world skipping three days of working out. Yesterday and the day before were my rest days. I'm being hard on myself for like literally no reason um, because I would have liked to work out this morning, but it was just not. I just also didn't want to. Like, I think I need to just try to be better at letting myself like have days off and not being like, oh my gosh, you didn't work out five days a week this week and that's what you set out to do because that's not a healthy mindset. Like, <laughs> I want to work out because I want to and because I'm like motivated to, which isn't the case all the time, but I don't want to because I feel like I have to just because I wrote it down for the day or something like that. That's something I guess I'm trying to work on is not being harder on myself for little things like it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna ruin your workout routine or your body or anything to skip one or two days that you're just kind of like not feeling it. So trying to be better about that, but it's hard. It's hard not to be hard on yourself, so. All right, I'm gonna finish up my podcast and wipe down the appliances and then, I don't know, relax, figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Now that we've got a vibe going with the candle, it's settling into the nighttime, and I'm just gonna quickly finish up my chores for the day by wiping the fridge down. I just use a stainless steel natural cleaner and a like a microfiber cloth to do this. Let me know what you guys use, especially if you have like a stainless steel fridge top. Let me know what works best for you specifically with like it showing after you're done cleaning. It always shows the marks. And I would love to know if there's some magical products that I'm missing out there. I had better luck with the microwave. It turned out very clean and we just kind of got the door. We got the surfaces, all of it. And I did do the front of the oven too. I just didn't film that because it was kind of a weird angle to film. Okay, this is what we decided on for dinner. It's from the Cravings Cookbook, the vegetable tortilla stew. I've made this before and it's pretty good. It's kind of like chili just without the meat. Took out a few initial things that we needed. Starting off with some bell pepper and onion. We used red onion and regular just cause that's what we had. Letting those cook down, adding some jalapeno and garlic. I think that's all that's in here. But now you can see I had a big spill because it was so filled, but I cleaned it up, don't worry. I am doing four cups of vegetable stock. And Jared's adding in two cans of crushed tomatoes. I'm stirring that up. And lastly, we're gonna add in some black beans. I guess the recipe called for two cans, but we only had one. So we just used one and it was totally fine. We also added in some corn at the end, and this is after everything's been cooking, the final soup before we add the toppings. 
Now I'm getting out my cute little mini Dutch ovens. I'll link these down below. Yeah, I love using them for soups and chicken pot pies and soups. I made a mess again. <laughs> you guys, I'm seriously like, this is just my life, okay? We're doing some shredded cheese. Got a good amount, got a good amount on there. It really adds a lot to the soup. Then I'm adding some candied jalapenos. I actually should have chopped these up because they were way too big to be a topping. It was just too spicy, like in the soup. Lastly, I made some homemade tortilla strips just in the air fryer with some seasonings and oil. And then I'm adding some cilantro. I'm going in with a little sprinkle of everyday seasoning. This is just me being extra and some lime juice on the top because why not? These look so good. All right, guys, I stopped filming after this pretty much just because it was a relaxed rest of the night. We just watched some 90 Day Fiance and hung out on the couch until bedtime. The soup was really good. I think the recipe is online somewhere. So I'll link it down below in case anyone wants to make it. I know I already said this in this video, but let me know if you like seeing these types of like one day single day vlogs that aren't like over, you know, two, three, four days. I kind of like these reset vlogs and like switching it up with one of these every so often. So I can definitely do more plan with me's and grocery shops and all that kind of Sunday reset vlog stuff. Thank you guys as always for watching. I do have a new video on my Patreon, a secret vlog. So I will link that down below as the first link in the description box. I'm also gonna link my outfit pieces from this video. As I said in my last vlog, I'm getting better about my links. So I have one place down below to all of my links for home decor, fashion, beauty stuff, mostly home decor and organization stuff. But definitely go check that out below if you haven't yet for just links to everything. Yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video very soon.